Amsterdam is a beautiful city, but sometimes you just need to get out of town and explore. In this video, I'm going to show you eight great day trips that you can take from Amsterdam without having to go too, too far. While you're here, make sure to subscribe to Via Travelers, where we help travelers get the best travel experience around the globe. Check out some of our recommended Amsterdam tours and essentials in the description below. Hey everyone, it's James, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best day trips that you can take from Amsterdam. The Netherlands is a really small country, and there are so many amazing places to see despite its small size. So whether you're looking for a historical town, a beach town, or some good old nature, I've got you covered. So grab your bags, and let's go explore. Leiden is a beautiful town about 30 minutes from Amsterdam. It's home to the oldest university in the Netherlands and is full of historical buildings and churches. Some of the highlights include the old city hall, the Hochlandse Kirk, and Theatre's Kirk. The Hochlandse Kirk, also known as St. Pancras Church, is a beautiful historic church in Leiden. It was built in the 12th century and is one of the oldest churches in the Netherlands. The old city hall in Leiden is a beautiful historic building that's worth a visit. It was built in the 15th century and is one of the oldest city halls in the Netherlands. It's located in the heart of the city and is surrounded by beautiful historic architecture. Leiden is also a great place to go shopping, with a lot of small, independent stores for you to explore. Haarlem is a great town to visit if you're interested in art. It's home to the Frans Hals Museum, which is one of the best art museums in the Netherlands. The museum is dedicated to the work of famous Dutch painter Frans Hals and has a collection of over 200 of his paintings. It also has a large collection of other Dutch masters, including Rembrandt and Vermeer. If you're not interested in art, there are still plenty of other things to do in Haarlem. The town is full of canals and cute little streets for sightseeing, and it's home to some damn good restaurants and bars. There's also plenty of shopping here, so there's really something for everyone. The Hague is the capital city of the Netherlands. It's home to the Dutch government and parliament. It's also home to some impressive museums like the Marnets House and the Gemeente Museum, as well as a bunch of other smaller museums. The Hague is a great place for shopping too, with lots of high-end retailers. And if you're looking for a bite, you won't have to look hard to find some world-class eateries. When in the Hague, be sure to visit some of its most popular attractions. The Marnets House Museum is home to a large collection of Dutch art, including works by our friends Rembrandt and Vermeer. The Hermente Museum, or Municipal Museum, is also a must-see, with a large collection of art and artifacts from all over the world. If you're looking for something a little more relaxing, The Hague has plenty of parks and gardens to explore. The Binnenhof Park is a great place to start, with beautiful ponds and gardens. The Hofheiver is also worth a visit, with its impressive architecture and views of the city. Dusseldorf is a city in western Germany that's about a two-hour train ride from Amsterdam. It's home to some impressive attractions like the Rheinturm and the Königsallee, museums like the Kunstpalast, and cultural attractions such as the Deutsche Oper. Start your day trip by visiting the Rheinturm, a famous telecommunications tower in Dusseldorf. It's the tallest building in the city and home to a rotating restaurant and viewing platform. The views from the top are really amazing and it's definitely worth a visit if you're in the area. Dusseldorf is also a great city for shopping, with a bushel of high-end stores. Koenig's Alley, or King's Alley, also known as the Kur, is a famous shopping street in Dusseldorf. It's home to some of the most famous and expensive stores in the country, including Louis Vuitton, Prada, and Gucci. Another must-visit location is the Deutsche Oper, one of the biggest opera houses in Europe. It's home to some of the best operas in the country, and in Germany, that's saying something. Brussels is the capital of Belgium, and it's a short train ride from Amsterdam. It's home to some breathtaking architecture spanning centuries, like the Royal Palace of Brussels and the Gleaming Atomium. There's also a ton of museums, like the Musée des Beaux-Arts and the Wiertz Museum. Brussels is also a great city for shopping, with lots of big-name brands. Some of the other top places to visit in Brussels include the Grand Place, which is a beautiful square surrounded by historic buildings, and of course, Mannequin Piz which is a small fountain statue of a boy urinating that's become the symbol of Brussels. As well as plenty of shopping opportunities and stunning public parks, Brussels is home to one of the densest populations of Michelin-starred restaurants in the world. Arrive hungry. Rotterdam is a city in the Netherlands that's about a 30-minute train ride from Amsterdam. This historic port town is home to some impressive modern architecture, like the Erasmus Bridge and the Markthal. 
as well as a ton of museums like the Maritime Museum and the Kunsthalle. Rotterdam is also a great city for shopping, with lots of high-end stores. The seafood is also pretty flippin' special. While you're in this neck of the woods, you must check out the UNESCO World Heritage Site at Kinderdijk. This village, about 30 minutes from Rotterdam, is famous for its windmills. You've probably seen them in plenty of pictures, postcards and paintings by this point, but seeing them up close is something else. There are 19 windmills here dating back to the 18th century, and they're still operational today. It's a breathtakingly beautiful village, and well worth a visit. Sanses Hans, Volendam and Marche are a trio of charming Dutch villages located just a short trip from Amsterdam. Each village has its own distinct personality and is worth a visit for a day of exploration. Sanses Hans is home to more beautiful windmills and traditional Dutch architecture. It's the perfect place for a peaceful stroll and some touristy photo ops. Volendam is known for its lovely canals and traditional fishing boats. This quaint village is definitely worth a visit for some colourful coastal views and superb seafood. Marke is perhaps the most scenic of the three villages, with its narrow streets and dinky, brightly coloured wooden houses. Be sure to wander around and take in the charm of this little island village. Utrecht is a beautiful historic city just a short trip from Amsterdam. This charming medieval town is home to some of the Netherlands' best museums and most stunning architecture. Start your trip by visiting Dom Tower. This iconic church tower is the tallest in the Netherlands and offers amazing views of Utrecht and the surrounding area. Then you should take a stroll along the gorgeous canals. Utrecht is famous for its canals, and a walk along them is a must-do when visiting the city. Another perfect place to visit is the Rietveldschroder House. This landmark building is considered to be one of the most important examples of Dutch architecture. Next, you can explore the city's historic centre. Utrecht's old town is full of charming streets and buildings dating back to the Middle Ages. And finally, make sure to visit the University of Utrecht. This world-renowned university is one of the largest in Europe. A day in Utrecht is the perfect way to experience Dutch culture and history. There are also plenty of charming cafes and restaurants to enjoy if you need to rest and refuel. Amsterdam is really a melting pot where all of the Netherlands and much of Northwest Europe can be sampled. But to really experience the best this part of the world has to offer, consider any one of these destinations for a dynamite day trip. Thanks for taking the time to tune in. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more travel guides, travel destinations, travel reviews, and travel tips. That's Tatty Bye from me, and I hope to see you soon.